What's up, everybody? It's your girl T. Pretty Tim. <laughs> and we are on a carnival celebration, and it is time for our bar crawl. Woo! But we have a special guest today, and because it's our sister in law's birthday, so yes. Pam, the lovely Pam, which who I call Sissy, she will be joining us for our bar crawl today. Now, we don't know if she's gonna last the whole time, right? But she's definitely gonna be there to represent her birthday. So, make her cut the damn wheels today. <laughs> Anyway, we will be doing six bars within the celebration. We're not going to pay attention to those, the bars that everybody knows already at all the carnival ships. We're just going to focus on six bars that to us just have um, some special cocktails or some special drinks that um, usually are rather different or they're yes. basically made better than others. Yes. Right. Something a little more than just rum. So join us today for our bar crawl. Live that best one. Make it a pretty timid moment. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Have a toast for the real. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Have a toast for the I bring over maybe one or two of them, and then we'll taste those and see how that goes. Okay, well, stay tuned, y'all. Thank you. Well, everybody, we're at the Latitude Bar, and Latitude Bar has so many cocktails. We just put out a drink, and we could probably do a bar crawl just at this bar by itself, but we also wanted to show some other bars. So with this bar, we're just gonna do three of their drinks. And um, we went through the list, and it seems like these three, actually there was a, another one that we preferred, um, but they just didn't have the liquor here. Um, we were out of it, so we replaced it with one. So today, what we're gonna be tasting is um, the Tokyo Sangria. Um, and this is basically East meets West. It's a bubbly. Fruity and sweet deliciousness is basically made with sake. Okay, this is the base layer of this. So you have some sake, chinota passion fruit, liqueur, some pineapple, some orange, and some lemon lime soda there. And then this one here is the uh, hold on, it has, it has a special name and I need to pronounce it this correctly. Mm -hmm. Chicano. And this one is from Peru, which is a Peru drink. And um, in this drink, it's basically, um, it combines the pisco, which is a type of a brandy, um, with lime and ginger ale to give you like, supposed to be like a very refreshing, tasty drink. Um, but what actually goes in it is the matcha pisco limes, ginger ale, and bitters. Didn't say what kind of bitters, I'ma find out from her what kind of actual bitters is actually in here. And then this one here, you know, I had to represent New York. So this is a Brooklyn. And in this Brooklyn, um, it's actually named after the course of New York City borough. Um, and it's basically a cousin to the Manhattan Reserve, um, dating back to 1908. And what's in here is basically the Jameson Irish Whiskey, um, the Lilith Blanc, the Maraschino Liqueur, and some um, 
Ramazoti Amaro. So there's just two different liqueurs in here along with three different liqueurs, sorry, along with the Jameson Irish whiskey. So Erica, I know Jameson Irish whiskey is one of your favorites, so we'll let you know. I'll let you know if you're gonna like this one. So we all of us at this table have different palettes on what we like. And so we got three drinks. And so all of us are gonna taste all three of them. And whichever one, whoever likes whichever one the most, then that'll be the one that they get to drink until we get to our next stop. Okay? So, let's see what we got today. By the way, see those wheels? You taking notes? No. You taking so, notes on the wheels? Though, right? I let them, I let them have, let me practice. So, that's a pretty thin wheel. <laughs> You did not make those wheels. And stop telling those people that. You didn't make those wheels. See a Benedict Arnold when you see one? That's a ten of wheel. Whatever, y'all. <laughs> now, this looks like a, a, a little ten of wheel. You see this? You see this one when they go on the inside? How slim it is. See how slim that one looks? Look how skinny it is. You see it? That's not a tender wheel. I don't know what that is. That's a spoke. And that ain't even a wheel. And check this out. Ooh, you know what? This is a perfect tender wheel because they done showed you how to make the wheels to go on the outside of the wheel. See, see the size they got right here? You see how they got it? Then they that. got this, the wheel that go inside of the wheel. And then, and this is the orange peel that you feel the skin. Remember you was having a problem that. with that? Yeah, but it's yeah. just to show you what it's supposed to look like. But you'll get it. You'll get it. I did that. Okay. What, whatever, y'all. That's what we need. So we don't let them drive. So, based on the ingredients I stated in here, who wants to taste which one first? Okay. Pam, you the birthday girl. You the birthday girl. There you go. Alright. So, tell me the name of the skin. Um, that is, oh crap. <laughs> Open it up. Okay. This one was the first one. This was the sangria. This is the Tokyo sangria. Tokyo sangria. Yep. Tokyo sangria. You like that? Okay. There you go. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. Like this is definitely a. I'm sitting out on the patio with the breeze and the sun, and you just kicking it. You want to have something to drink, but not nothing too harsh, but not too much. This is good. This is this is this is good. Kool Aid. This is good. Okay, you said Kool Aid. You said you like it. I say it's refreshing. I can do with it as well. Okay. Now. Why your phone keeps coming out? Because they like to look at me. We don't have a paper menu, y'all. Everything here is, is electric, so of course it just keeps going out. So I apologize. Um, this one is the Chilcano. And this is the one that's lime, ginger ale, and bitter. That looks refreshing, so let's see what it tastes like. Okay. It's a type of brandy, like a wine. That's what the pisco tastes like. I like the first one. You like the first one better? That number one, that one is still your number one. Y'all ain't even sick of it. I, I, I got two. Look, I feel like, look. Um, well, I know how you how you feel. You be telling me to sip that thing. I be like, they just be... Like, drink a swallow. How you know what it tastes like? Very liney. Very liney. Very tangy, very liney. If you like lime, this is it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. What you feel like? How do you like it? It's very liney. So this is not your one of your favorite times. Huh? 
No. Okay, so so far the sangria seems to be Pam's favorite. I'm indifferent to that one. That one tastes fine to me. This one tastes fine to me. If I had to choose between the two, first one is a lot more flavor. This second one is very, you know, like very um, not not bland, but it sort of reminds me of like if it was like a gin drink, like a clean gin drink. Like it's a cocktail, but how gin doesn't really have much flavor to it other than what they pour into it. That's what this reminds me. Of. You sure you don't want to take a bigger gulp? Because you said it tastes like water. Oh, that one was watery, and this one was just lying in my Okay. This is a tonic. Okay. This one is a Brooklyn. <laughs> it's up with the Jameson. And it has other things mixed in that a Manhattan really doesn't have. So, you just may, you may like this, Mr. Uh, newborn Whiskey. You might like this one. So, I'm going to taste this one first so I can get an idea of what y'all face. This <laughs> one. Father been gifted with a dirty Frank. You must not talking my dirty Frank from New York. Them dirty Franks are good, right, y'all? Whoever's from New York, you them dirty Franks. Yes, that. Anyway, maybe, maybe not. Here we go. Absolutely not. <laughs> So, as of right now, the sangria seems to be the favorite from the majority. I think all three of us can say that we like it, except you said it was watery, so you didn't like none of it. None of them. Not even the sangria. You don't want to taste that sangria again? Because all you did was sip it. I let Sam drink Kool-Aid, I drink the one in the middle. Oh, so you're going to drink the lime one? I drink, let you drink the good one. Well, it seems like we got a, a winner across the table. It's just that each of us just happen to like something different. So even though this is just limey, like he said, he feels that it's okay for him to drink. So, yeah. So here at Latitudes, now please note that Latitudes, their, their bar is specialized and there's Think of it as an alchemist, okay? These are real true cocktail professionals behind here. So if you like the alchemy bar, because you like the way they make their cocktails and there's specific scientists behind it, this is another bar on the celebration. It's gonna give you the same effect in everything. I remember taking my drink back to the, to the bartender, asking her if she could just make it just a little sweeter, just add a little bit of the, the cherry syrup in there. She reconstructed the whole drink because she wanted to make sure that it it did or it was made the way it was supposed to be made. It just made it sweeter, so I just gave her the utmost respect for that. But um, just so you know, this place here is going to give you a drink from every place around the world. A cocktail that's set for every place from the United States to Africa to Asia to South America to what was the other... Dude, I don't um, tell you in one minute because I know it's Asia, Africa, South America, United States. Um, I think Peru is South America, right? Oh, and Mexico. So, oh, and Europe. America. Europe, South America, USA, Asia, and Mexico. So, if you ever on a celebration from here, I'm sure there's something here that you will like, even if it's something you never heard of. Just ask them that you taste it. I guarantee you they'll make you something that you enjoy. So, it seems like this is the birthday girl's dream. Tokyo Sangria. Here we're gonna give the Chacano, Chacano to Pretty Timmy. And I'm gonna drink my Brooklyn. Cheers. Happy birthday, Pam. Thank you. Oh, that's right. Look, this is a celebratory crew. What we celebrate? Happy birthday, Pam. Happy anniversary, honey. Thank you. And happy promotion, honey. Happy promotion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There we go. The Latitudes Bar, everybody. Nice and nasty. Nice and nasty.
right, everybody. So we are at the Golden Jubilee and the celebration. And this particular bar is supposed to have some history behind it, meaning the whole purpose of why it was built, the history of Carnival. So according to Carnival, they said that this bar is basically some guest favorite cocktails of the last five decades, along with the original sketches illustrating the ship's fun and unique design. So basically, this is supposed to represent the last 50 years, um, and actually at this bar, you will actually find a lot of their um, statues, paintings, artwork, the decor. You get a big, huge ship of the celebration that's actually right outside the bar, um, along with a couple of um, historical um, segments of Carnival on the little they're like little circle windows right outside the bar as well. Um, the way it's set up sort of reminds me, you know how the library looks um, on some of the cruise ships? That's really what the bar looks like, but it's all, also sort of a, a combination of some elegance, especially over the bar. There's like this big tall chandelier that looks like it's multiple stories high, but it's just because they have mirrors on the But it's rather... Rather good, rather good. Um, so what we're going to do is figure out what drinks we would like and see which drinks or drink um, that we want to try. So according to this list, they have you have your cocktails, you have your carnival family favorites, uh, you have martinis, um, but you also have your usual, your wine and the beer. So since we're here for cocktails. Um, because beers and wines you can get from any place, it'll be just fine. So, uh, okay, y'all, so let's see. So, for cocktails, they got hey, okay, we're not doing the fun shit. I think everybody get one of those when we get on there. You know, that rum punch one that they give out to everybody with the little ship cup. Yeah, we're not doing that. Um, French 75, that's very common. Um, not gonna do that. Um, Plus, neither one of you. Um, that's a gym. Um, Tom Collins. Uh, it's a sparkling lemonade, but fancy with Bombay gin, sugar, club soda, lemon, and thyme. Don't know. Um, that sounds like the uh, Harvey Wallbanger. A sense of fuzzy nasal. Is that what it is? Fuzzy Nagel is my first alcoholic drink ever. And I was 26. The first alcoholic drink I had was a Fuzzy Nagel. Really? Did you like it? Yeah. Okay. It's juicy. So that's what a Harvey Wallbanger is? A Fuzzy Nagel? No. Oh, up under it. Oh, under it. That was like, oh, I thought that was. So you was already ahead of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. A Fuzzy And what is a Fuzzy Nagel? It's, okay, peach stamps in orange. That's it. Just peach well, that's why, why you like it. Ain't no liquor in the world. Well, I guess peach stamps is a little liquor. Mm -hmm. You waiting for the what? I'm waiting for the whole list to go on. Okay, so you got a sensation in the 70s. Um, this one is vodka with frothy orange juice. Um, Galliano lemon bitters. Um, and it's basically, if you like orange juice and vodka, that would be an ideal. Then you have the cruiser, which is with vodka, rum, some peach snaps, pineapple, cranberry, and orange. That sounds like liquor. I like the cruiser. Oh, that's right. You've been ordering the cruiser. Okay, well, we're not trying that today since he's always drinking it anyway. Uh, we're trying to find something that we haven't tried. So, Tequila Sunrise, heard about that. Okay, the yellow bird. So the yellow bird is African rum, Galliano, and triple second line. African rum. Star African rum. Christine's fave, Joss's fave, and Mickey's fave. Christine's fave is a gourmet sweet Michelle. Nope, that's a group. 
up apparel. Oh, well, no, uh -uh, that one's gonna be kind of tart. Um, this one is called Mickey's Fade, which is basically from, this is the Carnival Corporation chairman who likes this. Um, and he likes vodka. Um, and so this one is a Belvedere vodka, a filthy blue cheese, and stuffed power. No, no. <laughs> Filthy just don't go good with drink. No, it doesn't. I don't um, like dirty friends. Let me see, you got Juba, Singapore Swing, Amaretto Sour, Whiskey Smash, Golden Sidecar. I'm going to try the Golden Sidecar. That has Kobe in Triple Set, Lemon Juice. Um, lemon Juice and Gold. I don't know, they probably forgot, so I don't know what the gold is. But a gold, now I've heard of a sidecar, I've never heard of a golden sidecar. Now they have a rusty nail. That doesn't sound like I want to drink it. Um, it's a Dior's, it's a Scotch. Um, with Drambouille, Absinthe, and Rosemary. Ooh, that's a strong drink. No, 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 like that. Um, you got the Grasshopper and the Brandy Alexander. The Grasshopper is Cream the mint, cream the cow, the cow, and heavy cream nutmeg. And then you got your martini. So, we can try to, we got the golden side car. I'm curious to see what that yellow bird tastes like. Can't go wrong with a rum, right? Uh, we can try a yellow bird. The, what was it? The, the golden side. Yeah. Oh, they got the smoke Manhattan, but we know we, we drink those all the time. Oh, they got a different martini. They got a tiramisu martini. I've never had that. Malibu rum, peach snaps, butterscotch snaps, frangelico, Irish cream, amaretta, disserano, and kalua. That's a whole lot. That's a lot going on. You might like it. I'll try it. Okay, so let's try the Terra Masu Martini. The uh, Golden Sidecar. Mm -hmm. And the Yellow Bird. Okay. I think it's right. So we're going to try those three. We're going to try those three. So let's see. Let's see. Take two, folks. Just want to let you know. Just want to let you know. We done did a whole bunch of drinking. And the dog on phone wasn't on the floor. So I just want to let y'all know that. So we just have to let you know. This is the yellow bird. This is the tiramisu martini. This is the golden sidecar. And as you can see by the drinks, each of us had our favorite drink that was up here again. All of us like the sidecar. The golden sidecar. Tara Masu, um, him and I liked it more so. She said she could tolerate it. And nobody really liked the, the yellow bird. Um, it actually didn't have absinthe in it, but I think it's the rum or the gilly, gilly I know, liqueur that's in there that gives it that, gives it that absinthe black licorice flavor. But she preferred here, the Golden Side Car, which has actually replaced the whiskey with Hardy specific cognac. Okay, Hardy cognac is in that. And then Pretty Timmy preferred the, the luxurious uh, milky uh, tiramisu martini that has a whole bunch of the Kahluas and the the, um, the milky liquors and everything that's in there. It's actually pretty tasty. And, um, since I was able to tolerate this, which is fine, I can drink this. This is the Yellow Bird. It's a rum-based drink. I would have preferred it without probably that Giliano uh, uh, liqueur. If they did, maybe they could have sprayed the glass instead. But, um, this was pretty good. So, Golden Jubilee, not too bad, right? Cheers. Right. Now, I'm going to take everything now, since we're already going back over. That was more of an April Fool's dream. Yellow bird, black liquor. An April Fool's dream. Nasty as hell. 
It was okay. Nasty is Y'all know pretty Timmy ain't got much of a palate, but anyway. On to the next one. Everybody, so we made it. Oh, we have a guest appearance. We have a guest appearance from my brother in law, Pretty Timmy's brother. But Pretty Timmy is late, he's not here yet. And we're at the Tropical Bar, which is at center stage on um, the carnival celebration. Say hello to everybody, Terry. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he my husband. He, yeah. He the weird one of the family. He remind me of my daughter. He's very quiet, like to be to himself when he wants to. But he's the one, he's a family member, like come out, talk crap to everybody, get a full stomach, and then leave after he finished, and then just disappear. That's him. That, that's him. Like just right now, he's just gone. He didn't say bye. He didn't say, okay, you need me to do anything else. He's just gone. He just feel like, I'm gone. Exactly. Well, Pretty Timmy's late, okay, so me and Sissy gonna hold it down for this third location. So we're at the Tropical Bar, as I stated before, and today we're gonna be tasting three drinks again, because there's three that caught our eye. Now, two of them caught our eye, but the third one caught our eye for a totally different reason. Negative way. Negative way. <laughs> but we're gonna try just right. to see maybe it gotta be. So we're gonna be tasting the Twilight Zone, okay? which is a frozen drink, okay? And it's combined with Bacardi rum, okay, some rum, melon, blue curacao with coconut cream and pineapple. Okay, so we figured, we know that's probably gonna taste good, right? Then our second one we wanted to try, and we saw this the other day in the dining room, but we just didn't taste it. It's called the Carnival Cosmo. Okay, now leave me. And our drinks are coming. Um, we have the Carnival Cosmo, and that is with vodka, limoncello, and cranberry juice. So we figure that's gonna probably most likely be good, especially with the lemonade and the cranberry juice mix. And then our wild card is that spicy chipotle pineapple martini. Thank you. Yeah, y'all got that kind of strange, right? Spicy chipotle, pineapple martini. It consists of vodka, chipotle pineapple syrup, pineapple juice, and mint beans. So we gonna see how that, that spicy chipotle had a little twist. So a little confused. So we'll see how that goes. So she brought us the um, which one? Twilight That's the Zone. Twilight Zone. So she bought us the Twilight Zone, y'all. Okay, that looks pretty, pretty nice, right? Okay. And spicy. which one is it? This is the spicy. The spicy? Okay. So spicy she's gonna chipotle. pour us the spicy chipotle now. I thought it was gonna be like red. That's what I thought. I thought it was gonna be red with the spicy chipotle. So. Where you get that from? Right over there. Oh, at the, um, so this is the spicy chipotle. Pineapple martini. And then we have Cosmo. the Carnival Cosmo. Thank you. Okay. So that one's the Carnival Cosmo. So, looks very, very good. So, do um, you have a second straw? A second straw, thank you. Ah, yes. Thank you. Okay. How are y'all handling this? I had to get the I didn't get the drink package this time. Okay. Not bad. Okay. It's not that shit. Or oh, you can sit over here. I have only easy. We're talking to Terry, just so y'all know he wasn't 
talking to anybody. <laughs> and uh, Pretty Timmy is still missing in action. The assistant is late, just so y'all understand that. All right, so what we're going to try first, we're going to try the one that we figure is going to taste good. Better. And so we're going to try the Twilight Zone. We're going to try the Twilight Zone first. The Carnival Cosmos second, and then this wild card as the third. All right, so, so you want me to go first? You ready? All right. Well, we can probably go at the same time. Let's do it. Let's see. Not a fan of pina colada. Oh, you're not a fan of pina colada coconut? <laughs> I don't dislike it, but okay. not a fan of pina colada. It's good. If you like pina colada, type drink this is this it's gonna it's gonna get you and it has a, like other flavors it's in it good, outside of it but it's good it's, it's still good in other words you're not gonna taste a bunch of liquor or nothing like that i'm pretty sure you can ask them for an extra shot if you want to oh speaking of that i actually asked one of the bartenders how much how many ounces was a shot for them and it was 1.25 so I'm thinking that is not a full shot in the United States. What's a full shot in the United States? Two ounces. Okay. Two ounces is a shot. So when I'm thinking of a drink, I'm thinking you putting at least two ounces of liquor in here, and that's not the case. They're putting 1.25, which is most likely the reason why people who get the drink package can drink 15 drinks in a day because technically you're really only drinking seven if you really think about it you know, a little under seven. So that's pretty much what the deal is, but this is pretty good. This is good for y'all pina colada, frozen drinks, fufu drink type people who like, you know, the, the drinks with the with the umbrella on it and everything. This is right up y'all alley. Okay, so now we are gonna try Cosmo. Carnival Cosmo. So I'ma let the birthday girl do the honors. One is matching her outfit very perfectly, actually. It's not even red, it's like a pink mauve color. Right. I'm gonna let her try it, try since that was her choice. Yeah, she's Cosmo. Don't need no girl right here, I see him. Yeah, yeah. How was that? Good. Good. It's good? Good. Like it? It's not a lot of flavor. Tim was not a lot water, of flavor. He would say it's water. Mm -hmm. But for me, Yeah, it's not much flavor. It's definitely what a martini would be. You just want the box. And it has some flavor. Yes. I actually just taste lemon. I don't taste anything. I don't, do you taste cranberry juice? Hold on. No? You don't taste cranberry juice either? See, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's supposed it's to have- It's more than the lemon drops that I have. Yeah. I mean, not, not more. It's less lemon than that. Uh-huh. But it is more lemon than I don't taste cranberry. And I think it's because instead of lemon juice, they got limoncello liqueur that's in here for the drink. So that's just gonna heighten the lemon flavor in it. So that's okay. probably what it is. So it's good though. I like so it. I can tell it. I'm so um, one. I wonder how it would taste if it had like a splash of like the cherry juice or something. You know what I mean? Like just a splash of Yes, Terry is off camera making faces. Yes. So if you see yes, me. Yeah. Being silly like pretty Timmy. Really stuff in his face. He's over here. Yes. Cookies and uh, chocolate, 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 like chocolate, chocolate cake, layer, which is chocolate, chocolate, four cake, layers. Four layers. Four layer chocolate cake. Where's your brother? You don't know where your brother is. He didn't call you. He didn't text you. He didn't message you. He didn't do nothing. Just her. We lost pretty Timmy. Ready? No. Somewhere on the ship. Where your husband at? I don't know where my husband is. Where your husband at? Over there stuff in right your face. There. Well, there you go. Anyway, y'all. Okay. So, All right. Cosmo is a little I'm flavorless. But That's I like what it. we agree. It's tolerant like you could drink it. No, I like it. And it's pretty. Yeah, because I'm like a lot of alcohol. Okay. okay so I like it. Okay. So I like but it for do real. You, if you had to add some flavor to it, what would it be? I don't know. Do you think you would like it if it had sugar around it? Yes. Okay, exactly. so maybe some sugar around the rim. Yeah, some sugar around the rim. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, now. I'm so now it's time for the wild card. Did you read what was in here? Now we both. 
a word about this one, but we gonna try. So I'm gonna tell y'all what was in, what's in it. Spicy Chipotle Pineapple Martinis. It is vodka, Chipotle Pineapple Syrup. Never heard of that. Chipotle Pineapple Syrup. Doesn't even sound like it go together. Barbecue sauce. You ain't lying. <laughs> sound like it need to go on a burger, right. don't it? <laughs> or some barbecue chicken right. or something. Um, pineapple juice and mint leaves. So my guess is they probably muddle some mint leaves with some pineapple juice and the, and the syrup probably just to get it all together and then add the vodka and sort of shake it up and pour it out. That's what I think. So um, this is something we didn't actually find as a fan of what we hear, but we gonna taste it and find out. So looking at Sissy's face, she probably yeah, wants me to try it first. You're gonna make me try it first. You do the honors. Okay. Okay. Spicy Chipotle pineapple martini. First, I'm gonna smell it, y'all. I smell nothing but pineapple. Hush. You on the sidelines. You ain't even in the camera. Be quiet. They don't need to hear you. I'm smelling it. Nothing but pineapple. So I smell pineapple. Don't give me a red. Okay. Okay. It's a Chipotle. Oh, there you go. I didn't taste the Chipotle like till a, after. Pineapple Jolly Rancher. Like a pineapple Jolly Rancher. Make sure you smell it while you're drinking it. Now see, you don't really taste the Chipotle. It's gonna kick in a minute. Watch. In the back of your throat. No? That means you ain't drink nothing. You just sip it. You need to, you need to go both. You need to, there you go. You know, the Chipotle didn't hit you. I would say, if I had to just say what that was, uh -huh. a pineapple uh, martini. I, it's a, okay, so you don't, no, no, you don't taste it? You didn't taste that little thing I in the back of your spice. Throat? Okay, oh, just a little spice. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't bad. See, I was looking for it, so that's okay. why I was paying attention to okay, what's I feel different. It. You feel it? Okay. So, actually, it's not too bad, y'all. It's, it's not, actually... The name sounds terrible. Oh, but. very misleading. Very misleading, but it's actually pretty good. So this wild card is good. Wild card is good. Okay. Terry, you want to taste it? Look, since your brother not here, pretty Timmy you gotta stand is, in for pretty Timmy is, is late, so I need you to walk around here and, and try these drinks. Just one, bag. What'd you say? We'll try. You try. It'll just go one. with it. Just pick one. I just need you to sit. Just pick one. Which one you think? Which Come one on. you think? You want some fruity? You want just a sip? Just a sip. Just a sip, Terry, just a sip. So which one you wanna try first? Try them all. You gonna try them all? All right, don't be just snatching up the drink, Terry. Yes. <laughs> that is not true, Terry. Yes. Worth it, man. Jesus. <laughs> that is not true. You know, that's your wives on that side. You like that one? That one's all right. That one's all right. Mother Susan. Well, that's the third opinion, y'all. And uh, like I said, Pretty Timmy was not here. So, you know, look, this, 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 this a tardy right here, y'all. Y'all do know that, right? I know y'all Pretty Timmy fans, and y'all be saying, Pretty Timmy, Pretty Timmy. Pretty Timmy lady. He was supposed to meet us here. Anyway, we done had our... <laughs> I'll drink for the night at Tropical. So that's three down. Three more to go. So Pretty Timmy finally made it. And he late. He getting a tardy on his record. So today we're tasting. What is this? This is Twilight Zone for your frozen drink lovers. Then you got your Carnival Cosmo. Carnival Cosmo. And then you got your spicy Chipotle pineapple martini. So we're going to have you taste all three of them. 
see which one you like most. So we're gonna have you taste the pineapple one. This, this is what we call the wild card. Yeah, you know, like. Mm. Tastes like <laughs> left heel. Mm. Ain't no left heel, Terry. Not bad, but not good. <laughs> Carnival Cosmo. Remember, it was on the dining room menu when we was in there, but you didn't get it. Then, like, that should be more like shit be damn. <laughs> shit be damn to drink that. Okay. Well, Pam's drinking that one. This one. I know for a fact that you will like. This is the Twilight Zone. If you don't like any of these two, you definitely don't like this poo poo drink. All it needs is an umbrella. Ain't that a You don't, you take the straw out? This straw had lip tip on it. I don't know where that lip tip came from. There you go. There you go, ain't no lip tip. Did she just turn the straw and stick it in? That make it different. Go ahead. You like that? Go on and keep it. I know you would. Go ahead and keep it. That's the only one your brother likes too. Yeah, this this is about better. The shit be damn over there. Be damn to drink that drink. Ain't nothing wrong with the drink. Ain't no gasolina. Be quiet. Both of those drinks are vodka drinks. That's a rum drink. Yeah. Okay. Now you got Pretty Timmy's response. A late response, but a pretty Timmy's response. That's a pretty Timmy right there. Next bar. Next bar. Get it, get it, I'm ready to come, I gotta get it, get it.